All right, it's time to go around the Mesa one more time. It is presented by MRC. Today, we're going to talk with the head softball coach from San Diego State. She is Kathy Van Wyk. Coach, it is great to see you again. We had the season started. It was off to a very nice start for SDSU softball. And then the season comes to an end. We got to get an update with you. We got to find out how the team is doing. So I guess we'll start there. The health with you, your staff, and uh, the players on the roster. Well, everybody seems to be doing well as best you can in this uh, situation. You know, they're huddled down tight and uh, trying to stay healthy and safe. Some of them needed the break to rest their weary bodies and uh, are doing better now. And um, all very disappointed, but understand what's going on. And this is uh, much better than, much bigger than us. So, yeah. Can you take us back to the moment when, when you found out? It was right around the time of the schedule where you guys had a great opportunity this year to take on Team USA. Um, that was going to be in Santee, and it was right around towards the end of where the season kind of came to an end. Tell us about that moment, not being able to play that game, and then also the moment where the season does get taken away. Yeah, we were scheduled to play uh, Team USA on a Tuesday, and um, – very excited about that opportunity. Just, it's always a great, um, you know, opportunity to, to measure yourself against the best in the country and some of the best in the world. And uh, unfortunately, that game was rained out. And I believe it was the very next day that we found out um, these changes, these drastic changes were being made to our conference schedule, which was scheduled to start that, that coming weekend. Um, and on Wednesday, we got the message that fans would not be attending. And then on Thursday, it was an abrupt change altogether with uh, NCA coming out with their with uh, their decisions. So huge disappointment, primarily for our four seniors, of course. And um, and uh, we will have the opportunity to have two of those seniors back, but uh, a couple of them will be leaving us. And you know, it's difficult. These kids probably will never step foot on a softball field again in their lives. So. It's understandably disappointing for them, but uh, they do understand the seriousness of what we're facing, and uh, they'll they'll survive through it, and and they'll be they'll be in good shape. Can you tell us what it was like to have those conversations with seniors who were forced to make the decision of whether to come back another year or just to move forward? What were those conversations like? Well. The difficulty for us was when we first heard about it, we were told we were not allowed to meet in any way. So we hadn't scheduled any of these kinds of Zoom meetings. Um, so basically most of what we were doing was via text. Um, and at that time, we did not know what the NCAA rulings were going to be regarding eligibility and so on. But uh, in particular, Kiera Wright was one of our seniors who has actually been here for five years. And Keith, you know, faced injuries all of her five years here and has just tried to prolong as best she could with her body and um, dealing with all of those, you know, bumps and bruises. And her body is just worn out. Um, and she decided that even if she could work it out academically, it would be better for her right now to just uh, let her body rest and move on with her life. And, and, you know, it's very, very disappointing. But she agreed with us that, you know, we had a wonderful experience, wouldn't change anything that we had dealt with, good, bad, or ugly. And we, you know, we owe her a tremendous amount for what she's uh, given to this program and the dedication that she's shown. And then on the flip side, Coach, what is it like to be able to have a conversation with seniors who will be able to come back next season? Well, they're very excited, very excited. They were relieved. Um, I, there was a lot of tears shed, in a, and I'm sure that um, once all of this set in and they understood the issues, um, you know, they, they, they just accepted it. But hearing that they would have the opportunity to come back was huge. And um, we're, we're going to bring back Marissa Moreno, who's our senior pitcher, as well as Shelby Thompson next year. And both of them were able to work it out academically to where they can um, add – a minor and, um, you know, have you know, a good portion of their academics picked up for them. So that that's a huge step for us, particularly both of them play huge parts in the program and, and have for four years now. So uh, they were hugely relieved and are really looking forward to, you know, having a, getting a do-over, basically. We've been saying that to everybody. And, and you never know when the season's going to end or when your last game is going to be, you know, when your game's going to be taken away from you. And now they're really dealing with that. So they're excited to come back. 
Yeah, and I, I never got the sense that any of your players ever took it for granted running out onto the field, but just kind of picturing that next time when you and your team will be back out at SDSU Softball Stadium playing, whenever that game is, getting that opportunity again, it's going to be so much more special, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely, and especially for those seniors. You know, they, they get that chance to – to redo things. There's always regrets. You always look back and say, oh, I wish I'd done it this way or that way. And now, you know, they're going to get a chance to, to make some changes, work on some weaknesses and, and really push forward uh, feeling good about it. Coach, thank you so much for spending time. I'm glad everyone is healthy. Obviously, it's a difficult situation for everyone, but uh, it sounds like SDSU softball will be back better than ever. You bet. We're uh, looking forward to next year and uh, thanks for having us.